<laughs> All right, let's okay, let's go on a road trip home. Now just another. Now just turn about. Four. Well, Emma was supposed to be back in Iowa from Seattle yesterday, and her flight was canceled due to weather. And then today, it's been delayed a few times. Been a little roller coaster, but uh, she just boarded the flight, and it looks like it's going to land in Minneapolis. 27 minutes after her connecting flight. So I think I'm going to take Falcor, drive up to Minneapolis, and rescue Emma from the airlines. Uh, it's not an electric car. We just leave it plugged in so that the heat stays on with electricity so we don't have to winterize it quite so much. Want to get in the van? Get in the van. Pepper! Get in the van. Good dogs. Guys, you ready to get Emma? All right, we are gonna drive to Minneapolis. It's about three and a half, four hours from here, but uh, that way we know and we'll make it home tonight. Right, Potter? Right, Potter? All right, here we go. All right, we're rolling. Need to, uh, gonna need to stop and get fuel and death. been putting off getting deaf just out of pure laziness but this one has deaf right at the pump so here we go
dog to walk. Surprised to see this much snow up here. All right, just pulled into the, uh, just crossed the border into Minnesota, pulled into this Minnesota rest area um, to walk the dogs. Tell you what, you know what they say about it being colder in Minnesota. It is. Tell you what, it is cold and windy out there. But I'm about 100 miles from from the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, so better keep rolling. Guess who we're picking up? We're picking up Emma at the airport. Are you excited? Yeah, this van really does make you start to question air travel because, because Emma started trying to leave Seattle yesterday morning. She was leaving for the airport at 4.30 a.m. or something and her flight was canceled and has been trying to get home ever since. So in reality, probably could have driven there, driven from there. I don't know, I guess you can't really compare that, but just the comfort and convenience and setting your own plan and not having to sit in this makes you start to wonder.
you can see her. I see her. She's filming me, filming her. I see him, I see him, I see him. My hero. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, Hi. Hi. I missed you. Yes, get back. We gotta get moving. People in airports are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, babes. I know I smell like a labradoodle. You smell like a labradoodle? Yeah. That's from the airplane. No, I've been wearing this sweatshirt. For... <laughs> this okay, one. we did it. <gasps> hey, him. you Hi. made it. <laughs> hey, All right, let's let's okay, go on a road trip home. Now just another. Now just turn about four and a half hours. It's a little, it's a little treacherous. Um, it's a little treacherous in the city here, and then it's a little treacherous around the border by well, about forty miles or so. I guess if we feel unsafe, we can always pull over and yes. We have our dogs with us and we can sleep sideways and mm -hmm. stay warm mm -hmm. it'll be fine. But I'm so excited to get home after spending we'll get there. <sighs> so much time. Do I you know that I landed? Coffee for you. Thanks, babe. Do you know that I landed and then it took 58 minutes for us to get off the plane? Wow. People were going crazy. <laughs> there was this one lady who was like, uh, they're going to refund me or I'm going to be escorted by the police out of here. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh. There might be other options. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Des Moines. Welcome to Des Moines. Des Moines is this. 